All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the equation seven to the power of x is equal to 70. So before we start on our solution, let's notice that this is an exponential equation and x is an exponent, which is the variable we're solving for. So let's just try to plug in a number. Let's start with one. So we have seven to the power of one, and this is equal to seven. Now, let's go one higher. Let's go seven to the power of two. This is equal to 49. And now let's go one higher. Let's go seven to the power of three. This is equal to 349. So notice how we're trying to find what value of x to, that we should take the power of seven to equal 70 but even the number three is much results in a number much higher than 70 meaning the value of x is going to be a decimal somewhere in between two and three so now to actually solve for x my equation is seven to the power of x is equal to 70 and what i'm first going to do and what i recommend doing for any exponential equation such as this is taking the log on both sides. And the reason that you should do this is because now you can use the property log a to the power of b. I can move the speed to the front so I get b times log a. Log a to the power of b is equal to b times log a. And the reason this property is so useful is because before x was an exponent and it's really hard to solve for x in its previous state but now i can move x to the front and it's going to be an actual term so now i get x times log 7 is equal to log 70. now log 70 is the same thing as log of 7 times 10. And another property of logarithms is that if I have something in form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So log of 7 times 10 is going to equal log of 7 plus log of 10. So now from here, what I'm going to do is divide both sides by log 7 because we obviously want to isolate x so the only way to do that is to get rid of this log 7. So then these two cancel out and I get x is equal to log 7 plus log 10 over log 7 and I can rewrite this as log 7 over log 7 plus log 10 over log 7. Now log 7 and log 7 cancel out, so I get x is equal to 1 plus log 10 over log 7. And if you guys already didn't know, log 10 is actually equal to 1. So now I get x is equal to 1 plus 1 over log 7. And this is my answer. All right, so for this video, I'm gonna be solving the equation x to the power of four is equal to negative nine. So what I'm first gonna do is add nine on both sides. So then these two cancel out and I get x to the power of four plus nine is equal to zero. Now from here, I can rewrite x to the power of four as x squared to the power of two. And I can rewrite 9 as 3 squared. And if I have something in the form a plus b squared, this is equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. And if I have something in the form a squared plus b squared, then this must mean that this is going to equal a plus b squared minus 2ab because this is the same thing as this without the 2ab. So 
This means that a is equal to x, to the x squared and b is 3. Going back over here, so I get x squared to the power of 2 plus 3 squared is equal to x squared plus 3 squared. And this turns into x squared to the power of 2 plus 3 squared is equal to x squared plus 3 squared minus 2 times x squared times 3 is equal to 0. So now from here, I get x squared plus 3 squared minus 6x squared is equal to 0. And remember how the square root of 6 squared is equal to 6. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this as x squared plus 3 squared minus the square root of 6x squared is equal to 0. And the reason I did that is because now I can use the property a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, this turns into x squared plus 3 plus the square root of 6x times x squared plus 3 minus the square root of 6x is equal to 0. So this gives me two equations. I have x squared plus 3 plus the square root of 6x is equal to 0, and x squared plus 3 minus the square root of 6x equals 0. So for both of these, because both of these are quadratic equations, you can use the quadratic formula to solve them. So by using the quadratic formula, I'm actually gonna, not going to do that in the video, but you can try that yourself. You should get that x is equal to the square root of 6 times negative 1 plus i over 2. And x is also equal to the square root of 6 times negative 1 minus i over 2. And also, along with this, you should get x is equal to the square root of 6 times i plus 1 over 2, and x is equal to the square root of 6 times i, or sorry, times 1 minus i over 2. So these are your four solutions.